Okay, so is it just me or is anyone else going to agree with me that this pandemic of ours is just getting out of hand? CDC just cannot make up their mind. Uh, Last I heard, they're going back to that five days of quarantine-like thing with anyone who's positive for COVID. Yet, everyone else is going back to the 14 days because that's what seems to be working. Rather than the five days. So, a lot of doctors are still doing the 14-day quarantine. Um, It's just getting out of hand. And I recently moved out of California, so... <clears throat> part of me. But uh, yeah, it's just getting out of hand. Now that I live in a different state, my um two of my Walmarts, they are out of almost everything and every week every week I'm not kidding. Every week they are just pricing everything more and more like it two times more the actual price that everything costs for. So, even doing a basic, like, stock up, such as cleaning supplies, not necessarily food, but cleaning supplies, because that's the first thing that's going right now, at least in my state, is cleaning supplies. And I notice now canned food is starting to go. So, it seems like we're going back to square one, you know? And now, I don't know if any of you guys heard, but now they're saying that, well... I want to say roughly two weeks ago, something around there. Um, Now they're telling us we can't use cloth masks anymore. I know for a fact California is not doing that anymore. Um, I guess everywhere else is going to start doing the same thing. No cloth masks um, and only disposable masks, which, by the way, kind of bothers me because when I did my homework, um, I want to say it was last week. CDC and scientists were stating uh, on their report that cloth masks and disposable masks were not, I repeat, not proper masks to use anymore because they don't have enough filtration. Which makes sense because disposable masks last you about two days and he has to come out. They're the ones that doctors use, dentists use, etc. Excuse me, I had a hiccup for a minute. Anyway, so it's just kind of weird how they're telling us, you know, buy N95s, buy KN95s and all this stuff, right? Now, if we can go back to memory lane, which we don't want to do, but let's go back to 2020. First lockdown. Everyone and their mama was killing, like killing, psh, damn, take that back. Everyone was, everyone and their mama was buying N95s. N95s were in stores, right? At least when I still lived in California, they were. Because everyone was buying them. So get this. It's funny how they're telling us to go back to N95s. Okay, well, supply us then. Put them on the shelves. You can only find N95s and KN95s right now online, but they're so overly priced right now, it's like, kind of like it's dramatic. Like, it's kind of annoying, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But seriously, it's funny how they're like, no, cloth masks don't work, disposable masks don't work, but you want us to stop using cloth masks, but use disposable masks. But you also told us that the proper masks to wear are KN95s and regular N95s. Okay, are you going to help us to get access to N95s and KN95s? Or what's the deal, you know? It's like everything's backwards. Like, you're telling us not to wear cloth masks. You're telling us not to wear disposable masks. Now we're only supposed to be wearing disposable masks if you don't have N95s or KN95 masks. We're, it's like we're going two different directions over here, you know? It, I don't know. I may be going on a rant or a venting session, but to me, it just doesn't make any sense. Everything is scrambling. 
and then everyone's going out hunting and either and hunting as in like they're hunting for COVID tests. Then you've got people, you know, at least on my Walmarts, they're buying the whole shelf just to sell them on eBay or make money off of them. The only place you can get a home test, at least the brand that I get or any other brand as of that matter, is online. You'd be lucky enough to get one online, at least one. And now you got people, I think USPS is sending out links, at least that I'm aware of, to order free COVID tests. Now, if anyone does not know, my sister got diagnosed with coronavirus, I want to say, were we in January? At the beginning of this month. And she's fine now. She retested at the doctor's office. But long story short, when she first got diagnosed, she got a home test. It turned out positive. We called our PCM doctor and she was like, okay, come and do a rapid test. Long story short, she was positive overall. She confirmed with a rapid test at the doctor's and a home test. And so long story short, the doctor goes, oh yeah, by the way, she's telling my mother this. Oh, by the way. Um, yeah, be careful with what brand you're using because apparently there's one home test kit that there was like three, three to four patients that came in and they were like, Hey, my home test says I am positive. Then they do a rapid test on them and they were like, you don't have COVID. Then they test them for the flu. Oh yeah, you got the flu. So you got a home test out there that no one's aware about. She, the PCM herself does not know what brand they used, but basically be careful out there, folks, um, about what brand you use. Maybe go in anyway, if you end up positive, because maybe you got the flu, who knows? Maybe you got that brand on the shelf that, you know, is popping up and detecting flu symptoms rather than COVID. I don't know. Uh, be safe out there, people. It's, it's getting a little crazy out there, you know? And it's just, all I gotta say is crazy. It is crazy. To an an insane, like, point. And it's also getting crazy because you got elderly folks, like my grandpa, for example. He doesn't want to get his booster because, you know, everyone has their own opinions on certain things. I kind of understand where he's coming from. He doesn't want to get his COVID shot, or at least his booster. He's fully vaccinated with this too. But it's confusing to elderly people because some elderly don't understand. Like, for example, where I'm going with this is like, my uncle caught corona. And now my now my grandpa's like, oh, well, he don't got corona. Grandpa, he did get corona. He caught it. He took a home test. It came out positive. And then he went in to urgent care. Came out positive. So in other words, I don't think elderly know the difference between self-quarantine, which is what I'm doing, versus quarantine as in like, oh, you caught Rona, you know? So I feel really bad for some elderly who don't understand this whole process. And it's it's crazy. And then you got people... Who, I am so PO'd if anybody under 18 listens to this. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, that's where I was going. I'm PO'd a little bit because I know some people who were like, well, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Oh, well, bye. Like, wait, what? Aren't you a little young to be dying? You just told me your hopes and dreams, but then you're like, well, if Rona catches me and I die, then that's it. Bye. Peace out. Wait, what? <laughs> How does that make sense? You know? I don't know. Like I said, maybe roughly 10 minutes ago or so, everyone has their own opinions on this, but I just, I don't know. I got a million opinions and thoughts into my own head myself. But it's more like I have the reality check of it. And now everyone keeps saying I'm like, don't believe the news, by the way. I don't believe the news. I do my own research. Fuck the news. Again, if you're not under 18, don't listen to this. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just 
I got my own thoughts. Everyone else has their own thoughts. And I would say everyone else has more of an opinion than a factual thought. But I really, truly believe that we can do better than this because there is preventable preventable measures that we can still take to prevent some of the spreading of this Rona virus going on. But um, I'm seeing a lot of non-dedicated people, people still gathering, people not giving two Fs, you know, it boggles me. And then they wonder why they have Rona. And I'm just like, and people wonder why I don't go out of my house. I only go out of my house to go pick up groceries from Walmart because they do that grocery pickup where you just shop on your groceries online, submit it for the next day, pick a time slot, and then go pick it up. They put it in your car in your trunk. You don't have to get out. That's the only thing I do, honestly. And I just stay home. Yes, that's a little bit, you know, lonely as some people would say, but I'm taking more precautions for myself because... I don't, I don't want to know what it feels like to have Rona. I really don't. And I don't want it. The last time I got sick was when I had a basic viral infection. I had to go into urgent care. They tested me for Corona. I didn't have Corona. I just had a basic viral infection. I'm glad that's over with. And, um, you know, two days ago, my chest felt a little tight. I, I thought, first I thought it was heartburn. And I took heartburn, like, medicine. That didn't help. Then I started taking cold medicine, and I felt so much better. And last night I took a shower, and tonight I took another good shower. And it was one of those showers, like, you know how you feel like you have the flu or the cold and you're congested, and you just sit under the warm water and just, like, I don't know how to explain it in a cleaner way. So, sorry in advance if I gross you out, but, like, you know how you go through that draining phase of your cold or flu, and it's just, your nose is going down. It's just, like, boogers, like, coming out of your nose, you know, and that draining phase of your throat, and you're trying to, like, spit whatever is coming out because you don't want to swallow it. Yeah, that was me last night and tonight. So... Between me sneezing constantly, between allergies, and me probably having a peak of a cold, meaning I'm just starting, um, I've been taking cold medicine, so that's a good thing. Because I was scared that it might have been Rona, but due to the fact that I had started taking cold medicine right when I noticed symptoms, and then I felt so much better. Like, my chest doesn't hurt anymore, because when you do have a flu, you can get chest congestion, And so apparently that's what I had because now I feel so much better and I'm not sneezing my nose off my body and I'm not congested on my chest. My chest feels much better. I feel back to normal. I did take a nap, which is very rare today, but uh, it felt really great to take a nap. I guess, you know, listen to your body when it needs to be listened to. But yeah, it's just, oh... And I know I've been, like, avoiding, not really avoiding per se, but, yeah, okay, yeah. I have been avoiding my podcast channel because of school, and I live different time zones every day. It's kind of, I know if you guys listen to this, you're going to be like, what the heck is she talking about, two time zones? (laughs) I'll explain if you guys follow my YouTube channel. There's going to be a video that I'm going to upload on there, so that will explain the two time zones. But, you know, but I live two different time zones every day, mentally and physically. So doing this is kind of hard to do this every day with school. But yes, be safe out there, guys. You know, do everything, self-quarantine. Don't be the stupid ones that don't wear masks. Don't be the stupid ones that don't get the vaccines. And don't be the stupid one that has the coronas and spreads it without telling anyone you're sick. Bye, you guys, and good night.